give you a little quick update here on the clean out. Uh, I did do some work here yesterday. I did the attic, but one of the family members was here, so I didn't really want to film. They don't have a problem with me filming, but she was pretty emotional about seeing the house as empty as it is. So I just thought it was best to not do any updates yesterday. So the attic is complete. Uh, I found maybe a tote full of old toys that were worth saving. Everything else is pretty mice infested. So there wasn't a whole heck of a lot to save out of there. We are back today. We finished the basement. I don't know if you guys can remember how this looked last time. Uh, this was the shop area. So this is all cleaned out. That's all scrap metal in the corner that the homeowner will get rid of. Um, but yeah, this basement is now completely done. So the only thing I did find in the shop, I found this thing is pretty cool. Kind of looks like an old mailbox type of deal but the drawers are actually metal it's a neat little old organizer I think he might have made the cabinet for the bins but the bins are really cool and there's a couple extra uh, I found an old he used to do um, hit and miss motors he used to replenish them or refinish them and he used to make these I guess for advertising or have them hanging around when he was doing that um, an old Rosenberger dairy milk box. Uh, the graphics inside are pretty nice. It's pretty beat up on the top. He was using it as a trash can. So the only thing we have left to do down here is to take that stuff out, which I will probably do. And this will come out again. But yeah, the basement for the most part is finished. So we don't have to come back down here, but for five minutes to take the stuff out. And we can do the lights out. There's another dumpster full. This is the trash from the basement that I could not fit in. Um, house has not changed that much. I'm gonna, that's the tailgate auction stuff or perkyoming or the junk auction. Um, this is the stuff left to go to the storage unit for sorting and cleaning and listing. Um, the homeowner that was here yesterday, the daughter, she had mentioned, I had mentioned that I would get the furniture out of here. And her response was, I ah, don't bother with the furniture. There's only a couple pieces in here. And we like to keep them to stage the house. So... That's one less step that I have to do, which is less work. Why am I sitting down? I ain't got time to sit down. All right. That being said, we'll check the garage. As you can see, this breezeway is all finished, except for a little bit of trash that I'm waiting for the next dumpster on. Um, nobody wants to see an empty attic, but that's up there. Then all we have left is this is some of the stuff that I put aside that'll go to Perky Omenville. All those old suitcases have stuff in them. I haven't went through them yet. I doubt it's going to be anything any good. It's been up in the attic. But the cases themselves are kind of neat. Uh, those brown ones in the back are actually made out of metal. So I don't know if there's anything good in there. We'll find out. We got some more stuff to go through back here which we will probably do Friday. So yeah, this is what's left. And I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute and I will take you and show you the shed that we're doing. There's one shed on the property that we have to clean out. So we'll pause for station identification and I'll be right back. A lot of little odds and ends stuff. There's not a whole heck of a lot in here that has to go out. The chainsaw can go extension cords enough to make it worthwhile the axe is going to stay this stuff's going to stay so this shed should probably take me an hour if that and basically it's going to be either carrying stuff out loading it into the trailer or throwing it into the dumpster 
this is very easy this one and the stuff that's on wheels I'm just gonna wheel it right in the trailer and it's going to the junk auction uh, let's see this there's some good wrenches up here maybe no nope, no markings on that but yeah that's we're gonna we're on the home stretch of the cleanup the customer uh, I know the sister was very happy um, she was extremely happy but she was you know happy in a sad kind of way she doesn't remember she said you know this was the only house that she's ever known and she's not used to seeing it empty like this so on the way back here I'll show you the last of the things here I got my scrap pile going this is all scrap metal this is their trailer that they want to haul it in but I was told I could have it kind of start of sorted it out um, we got a ton of old aluminum um, I know there's another guy that does videos that says if you take that if you take the stuff off if you take this stuff off it's actually more it's a, it you get more money but with all the work that's involved I don't think it's probably very cost-effective so and there's some metal cabinets here They'll scrap. But yeah, that's where we're at. And I'll keep you updated. Tomorrow, I'm probably not going to come back here for a day or two because I got to the tailgate auctions tomorrow. I'm going to load up some of the stuff in that front room, whatever I can fit in the car. I'm still, if you watched my video for the last junk auction where we sold the tools from here, you'll know that my truck is in the shop. I thought it was a wheel bearing. It is not. It is actually the drive shaft on the front of the truck is broke. And one of the calipers is bad. So it's probably going to be close to $650 to get it fixed. The good news is, is they're going to do the caliper today and take the drive shaft out because it's the front drive shaft. So basically the truck is two wheel drive until they get me the drive shaft which is like next week because I can't be without my wheels man I miss my baby so I asked him if I could haul a trailer and he said you can do anything you would do with a truck just you can't do it in four wheel drive so that being said we're going to get out of here for today I'm going to load up the truck um, after this will be a the tailgate tomorrow another junk auction on Monday Busy, busy, busy. I have to go to the booth tomorrow, put some new stuff in, pick up my check, take scrap. Oh, I'm getting busier every day. So that's the update for right now. And we'll be back with this video in a bit. All right, we're back. And the clean out is now complete. The house is empty. The garage is empty, the basement's empty, the attic's empty, the shed's empty. The only thing that's not empty is the yard and the scrap pile. Uh, the homeowner, I told him it would take me a little while to get back to get the scrap because I have to get a dump trailer. I'll probably have to borrow or rent one. And he said that the guy that supplied us the dumpsters has a metal trailer that he's going to have dropped. And I said, well, there's no sense of you paying me to throw metal in the dumpster for you to get paid for the metal. So they're just going to handle it. So we turned back our key, picked up our final payment, and I have the entire trailer full of stuff. Plus, this is our storage unit. We picked up a storage unit here for, um, for storing all the stuff until we sell it. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of inventory. A lot of this is holiday stuff that will go to decorate the booth this year. Uh, there are some nice pieces of furniture that are wrapped. I thought that was really cool. I found that in the basement. That's the um, kind of like an old wooden, it's got like shelves in it, I think. I, I don't know what it would technically be used for, maybe a parts bin, but I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, today we were gonna take can't really see it back there there's a old farm hutch that was in the basement I'm gonna take that home today put the wheels on it clean it up that's gonna go into the booth tomorrow I am also gonna take some pictures of this monster um, 
I'm going to list this on the local sites. Uh, in this condition, used, they go for anywhere between two to four hundred hours. Uh, it is an older model. All the parts are there, so and it does have compression in it. Just probably needs to be cleaned up, and so that's going to get pictures of it. It is fall, which means snow will be coming, which means this is the perfect time to list a snow blower. So I'm going to list that. I already have one, or else I'd keep it for myself. It does have the electric start. Uh, probably needs a battery, but it does have compression. So that's going to be another easy 7500 bucks, maybe a little more. I haven't looked that up yet. Uh, this is a hit and miss motor that was in the garage. It's off of an ideal. This one has been restored, even still has the plate, which I'm going to have to write some information on that down. I think I'm going to build a kind of like a little furniture dolly to bolt this to. As you can see, it's just bolted to a board. It was on the top of a cabinet. So if I make a dolly for it to ride on, I can transport it easier, and this will probably go into the booth as well. Uh, we can put stuff like this into the booth equipment. It just may not have any fluids in it. Like, you can't leave it full of gas. Uh, so that being said, that's what's in the unit. I found out these old blow molds, if you remember from earlier, once I got these out and into the light, these are actually made by Empire. You can see it right down on the bottom here. Once I clean them off, you can see that. They're actually a little harder to find. There was supposedly a kind of like a manger piece that had a light in it. That was not in the house. Uh, old trophies. All kinds of stuff. So... That's going to do it for this section. When we get back to the house, I got a couple errands to run. I will show you how full the trailer actually is for the next junk auction with the rest of the stuff. And do my wrap up. So that's going to be it for this section. And I will see you in a bit. All right, now we're home. And this is what's going in the trailer for the junk auction. So Sunday morning, I will get up, hook the trailer up, and go get rid of the rest of the stuff. This is all like housewares and chemicals, and there's some tools in the front. There's some jacks in there, um, ladders, a couple big ladders. So I'm going to probably go in the basement tomorrow. And as you can see, I got a little bit of space left. I can fill this with some stuff in the basement. But that's going to be 90% of it's going to be the stuff that come out of the clean out. So, like I said, the clean out is done. People are happy. I'm happy. It's a lot of work. For anybody that's trying to get into this line of work, it is a lot of trash. It is not a glorious job in any means. So... That's going to wrap it up for this episode of Auction Life. I want to thank everybody for checking us out. And uh, the next video coming out will probably be... Oh, I don't even know what it's going to be. Maybe I'll have to buy another storage unit. So hopefully we'll be... We're getting pretty close to 500 subscribers. When I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to put out a special uh, small video. And we're going to offer up a prize we may ask a trivia question and the first person that gets the question correct gets the prize so thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe comments questions all that kind of fun stuff and now for my stupid dad joke for part two of this clean out and my stupid dad joke goes as follows why was the pepper considered nosy? Because he was jalapeno business. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a great day. Happy Halloween, everyone. I hope everybody is having a fun, safe time. Uh, we're going out with the boys tonight, trick-or-treating. I did some 
witchy makeup here. Um, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and let you know that I'm going to be out of commission for a few weeks. Um, actually, not me, the computer. It's got a bad key on its mouse pad, so it needs to be taken away to get that fixed. Unfortunately, to be covered under warranty, it has to go to HP itself and get fixed. So, that being said, um, we are really excited because we have reached 500, 500 subscribers now. Thank you so much for everybody that's joined. We hope you're enjoying. Um, and one last thing. I wanted to do a stupid mom joke because the stupid dad joke was, uh, hmm, well, anyway. So, keeping with the Halloween theme, why can't angry wit witches ride their brooms? They always fly off the handle. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Have a happy and safe Halloween, and we'll see you next time.